Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Eileen with Unique Gifts and Decor by Lady Di. Happy Wednesday to everyone. Today is hump day, you guys. We made it through the middle of the week. We've got three more days to go. But anyway, I um, hope everyone is enjoying your day. Um, it has been a, di a different day today. Basically, um, they were calling for a lot of storms down here in North Carolina. They said rain last night. Uh, rain part of the morning and then the afternoon you're going to have all these strong winds pour i mean saturday was going to be a downpour so you know of course me watching the news making sure you know if i'm going to be in i'm gonna be in things i gotta do blah 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 come to find out it rained last night i heard it rain but it wasn't like it was a downpour or anything crazy like that woke up this morning you could tell it had rain so but it was cloudy um you know i'm like okay so they said it should start about maybe 12 or 1 o'clock. So I went out, got my groceries this morning, you know, piddled around, um, did a little shopping here and there, um, you know, a couple stores. And by the time I got back, you guys, nothing. The sun is shining. There's a wind in the air, but the sun is shining. I mean, you know, I could have been out doing some other things today, but I figured, you know, I need to be in. I didn't want to be out in this bad weather or anything like that. Wrong. But anyway, it is what it is. <laughs> All I can say is, <sighs> anyway, I just want to come on today to show you guys a basket that I am trying to put together. Um, I don't have really names for some of my baskets because it could be a spa basket. It could just be, uh, it just depends. You know, you have the robes, the um uh, the spa, uh, you know, products and different things like that in baskets. So everybody's hauling. It's a spa basket. Well, it might not be, um, you know, but I am not naming any of my baskets. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm using this bucket that I got from the Dollar Tree. Um, and they have different colors. I think they have the grays. I think they have the pinks and, um, this green. So we're going to kind of use this a blue and green thing today. So the items that I'm going to use is this Dr. Teal um, it's the Relax and Relief um, Epsom Soap Salt, no, Epsom Salt Soak and Foaming uh, Bath here. I've got this Dove a Refreshing Beauty Cream Bar and it's the Coconut and Green Tea Scent here. So you can see my theme is the green and the blue, okay? <laughs> I've got this candle that we got from the Dollar General, and it was on the purple dot, and it was originally $6. Um, I didn't pay $6 for it. It was doing one of those clearances, and I think it was sometime last year when the purple dots went down to, um, I don't think I got it at a penny, but I think I got it at the 90%. Um, Again, here in North Carolina, it is so hard to get items when they get down to the, uh, will go up to the highest percentages because a lot of people just are just out shopping and, you know, just getting the deals. I'm not sure if they're making baskets or if they're selling them or they're just buying for their homes. But anyway, that's where I'm at right now. Now, this is one of the floor arrangements that I showed you guys earlier that I did early um, video I did this week. Or was it last week? I think it was last week anyway um so um this is the vase um that it came in but i just changed it add some flowers this is the original flower that came with it i added some rose and some greenery in it to make it a different floor arrangement these are some towels that i got from i think these are at the dollar general and let me get these they are already wrapped you guys so um, that was a plus there, but you can always change the ribbon if you like. Um, but, you know, I don't, only thing here is just the ribbon at the end. They're, um, it kind of was bleeding a little bit, if y'all know what I'm talking about. So, anyway, I've got these pair of socks. Now, these came two to a pack. Um, they're at, they were 50% at the Dollar General. Um the other week, and I believe they are still 50% from what I'm, I'm gathering, what I saw the other day. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to roll these up really nicely, 
like this and I'm going to stick a ribbon around it. Now this ribbon that I got here, um, I got this at Timu, you guys. So um, it was three yards. Um, no, no, my bad. Let me go back. The Dollar Tree. I bought the ribbon at Timu too. Um, so it was just a dollar twenty-five, and I know they had it in the red and and gold, and then they had the um, silver and white. And but you know when I am wrapping, um, kind of jazzing up um, socks or maybe um, some other items, you know that you want to kind of um, you know just put a little twist to it to make it look a lot of a little more professional. You always can get a rib, a piece of ribbon and just tie a bow around it. And you can just call it a day after that. But anyway, um, I'm not going to hold us long on this video. I just want to show you guys um, an easy way to just do a basket um, and make it really simple for you. So first of all, I am going to um, shrink wrap this. So I have a bag and I think it's the 24, these are 24 by 30. They're the Purple Q uh, Crafts and I got them from Amazon. Um, these are the uh, shrink wrap bags. So I'm going to just go ahead and put my bag inside my bag. First, we're going to add the um, towels in first. And they will set up by themselves because of how they got them wrapped in here. It sits up really good, okay? Um, now, I'm going to add the Dr. Teal on this side here. Going to take my floor arrangement. And I'm going to take the tag off the bottom of this because it was still on here. Let me get this done right quick here. There. So we're going to sit this right here. I am going to get my candle and put it right here in the center. And I'm going to take my um, socks to put them right here. And I'm going to put my soap, kind of um, have it standing up a little bit like that. I am going to get one of my glue dots here and we're going to um, attach that to the back of the soap so it will uh, attach to the um, gift set there. Now I've got some shred, which I've got some blue shred. Um, this is the one that I got for 50 cent at Dollar General yesterday um, in my haul and I'm just gonna fill this in where there are some empty spaces. So it doesn't take long, you guys, to do a basket. And let me put some tissue paper there because it's sitting down low and I really want it to sit up a little high so that, that my potential customers can see the um actually the fragrances which is the salt air and sand um writing on the outside of the candle so again i'm hoping everyone is having a wonderful day if you all got some of those storms i'm hoping you guys are being safe um not losing any power you know that is one thing that is not good. I know we had a storm here about, oh, it's been a few years ago, but anyway, um, and it knocked out our power for a week. So um, that was not ha a, ha um, <laughs> a good experience. But, um, you know, it kind of taught me, um, you know, the things that we do take for granted, <laughs> like electricity, okay? But I maintain um, what I did is, you know, I stayed at home. A lot of people went to hotels and everything. 
you know, um, and most of the hotels down here was really packed. And, you know, it's just, my kids even said, my, uh, my daughter, she lives in Clemens, which is like maybe 45 minutes from me. She said, Mom, come up here. You know, when you kind of just want to, you know, be by yourself. And I know my kids think, Mama, you by yourself all the time. Not really. I'm, I'm okay. You know, they think you got to be around a lot of people all the time. You really don't because I, I stay busy. I keep myself busy. So, you know, it's just... I don't know. You know how some people are. People got to have people around them all the time. I am not that type of person because sometimes when I feel that people are around, um, then I feel like I have to be entertaining and stuff, and then that takes me away from doing the things that I need to do. I hope that doesn't sound selfish, but it is what it is, okay? So, this is how it looks so far, you guys. Very easy. It's just a few items, but you can incorporate the items so that they can be full where it looks like your basket is full. So I am going to wrap this up right quick here. And the one thing I hate about the thread, uh, sometimes if you don't uh, put it deep down in your basket, it will fall out, and that's kind of one of my pet peeves. And sometimes it happens. You can you can catch it uh, before it does that. But if you don't, you know, it's okay. You know, the world is not going to stop because the thread fell out your um, basket. It is what it is, you guys. So I'm going to use one of my pipe cleaners here to tie it up. I'm going to get my tape for I'm gonna tape down my side to the um, bucket so that when it shrinks it'll it'll shrink properly. I should be having all my items over here, you guys. I am I'm a little backwards today, so please forgive me. When you still have a lot of air in your bag, you can always put a little slit in your bag in your bag so you can let all the air out. Because if you don't let the air out when you're shrinking it, it's gonna pop her up. And then you're gonna have to end it up put a slit in there anyway to get the air out. Or open up your bag and all that. And if you have a zip tie, you gotta take it down and do it again. So you can um, remedy some of that by just cutting a little slit in your bag, okay? So, now we're going to shrink wrap this. I'm going to make sure all my sides are taped down very good. And let me go. Excuse me, you guys. I got to get my gun. Please forgive me. I had everything. Garage. Okay, so guys, I'm going to use my hair dryer today, okay? Sometimes I switch up. Um, there's no harm in switching up. Um, it's, it's good sometimes to do something different. So that's what I'm getting ready to do right quick here. Let me get all this plugged up right here. Okay. So here, we're going to do this right quick. So just um, bear with me with the noise.
say guys i know it took a little longer with the hair uh brush but um hair dry excuse me but um i hate when this gets like this because you really can't do a lot with it so that's why if you get a bigger bow it will cover that up so we're going to do my bow right quick here so i've got some i'm using my bow dabber as you guys know here and let me kind of move this back a little bit so you all can see if you all can see this I'm using my iPad, you guys, so it can make me the, the scene a little bigger. So we're going to use, um, I like this shiny blue, you guys. We're going to use that as well as this. All three of these ribbons I got from um, Sam's. So we're just going to use the blue I'm gonna do the blue first, okay? So basically, you just stick your um. Gosh, I don't know why it will not sit down low. Let's see if y'all can see. Yeah, maybe that's better. So you all can um. Let me move it around here. Okay. So let's do this right quick. Here, I'm just gonna put the ribbon into the bodabra. Um, it's very easy. Um, it doesn't take long to do this. Now, it depends on how big you want your bow. It's how many loops that you want to um, have on your on your bow. So, I think I'm going to do uh, maybe four of the blue here. And you can measure it if you're just starting out, if you're wanting to do that. But I've been doing this for a minute. So I kind of can gauge um, how the length that I want my bows. Two, four. I got four on each side here. <clears throat> and then I'm going to add the stripe. Second. And since I did four of those, I'm going to do three of these. of each loop over here. I'm gonna cut this. And I'm just gonna experiment. So I'm gonna add a third ribbon. So this one is the third one that I'm going to add. Also, this one did come from Sam's. I think I got this one during the Christmas season and it is um, 50 yards at one and a half inch. So we're just going to Kind of, um, you know, experiment, see how is this, how is this going to look? You know, you guys know I'll be fighting with my bows, and if it don't look right, I have no problem in taking it down and trying something different. Um, you know how you can vision something by, um, in your head, and then when you try to put it together, like, oh, no, nah, that ain't, that ain't working right. <laughs> so, you know, it's okay to um, change. Like I said, sometimes things just, just, it just don't look right. And the way I tell you guys, I have to fix my baskets how I want to receive them. So if it looks jacked up, I, for me, I know it's not going to look right for my customers, okay? And this shred is just everywhere. So anyway, we're going to tighten this up, tie this so it can be even here and tie a knot in here right quick. And we're gonna put this on this basket right quick. Once you got it on, you just start fluffing out 
the loops. Now this has three ribbons on here, so I'm gonna try to do it as fast as I can so that this video will not be that long. But as you see, y'all can see right here, my shred has kind of come out of it, but you know what? Um, it's not that serious. I can go back and, you know, re, um, redo the bag. and But you know what? It's, it's not that serious. To me, the front is the main thing that matters. The whole basket matters, don't get me wrong. But when you sit it on your tables, they're going to look at the front, how the bow pops, and how everything else is lined up. So, they're not going to look at a little shred hanging out of the basket now. Some people, I guess they got OCD or that particular, but it's I've never had any problem in the past, and that has happened in the past, that somebody didn't buy my basket because the shred was hanging out. But if you can stop it ahead of time, then, you know, yes, do that. But again, things happen. So, let's get this bow together. This Let's see how did I how am I gonna oh I hope I'm not the only one to be fighting my the bows. Does anybody else go through this? That is the only thing I have a downfall. Well I wouldn't say it's a downfall, but I guess I want everything to look right. <laughs> and I'm just wanting to sometimes I guess I'm too critical for myself, you know, of myself rather, but I just want everything to look nice um, because it has a reflection on me, on my business. And you all should feel the same way with your business as well because your name is out there and you definitely want it to be a good name. And in life, we only have our name, you all. And um, and you all know that with some families, your name could be good and can back. If you know some people, you're like, oh, they wanted the Joneses or whoever they are. Oh, that's that bunch or whatever. And you know, it's not a good name, but if you're starting out your business, um, you just kind of, you know, you want to have a good positive um, inf impact in your community, and it starts with your name, and people are going to buy from you because they know that you take pride in everything that you do, um, and also um, your work, you know, and some people just buy from you because you're just a nice person, you know, um, and as long as you show your true colors, and I'm hoping everybody got some good true colors, okay? Let's just be honest. You don't want to be one of those. <laughs> Have you ever been in stores and, you know, you got some of the nastiest business owners? It's like, really? Or, you know, you go in the store and they don't even acknowledge that you're there. I mean, you know, it's just like, but, you know, definitely, uh, you know, they want, your, they want your business. But you can't take a minute to say hello or hi, how you doing? That's why I... When I go out on my street sales, I speak to everybody, um, you know, I, and I try to get around to have a conversation with everybody that's, uh, that, that has, takes the time to come to my um, booth. So, you guys, here is the finished product, okay? That's adding three color, uh, three different ribbons. You do it the same way as you was doing two different ribbons. So, I've, I kind of balance it out. I have the glitter on the back, the stripe in the front and the uh, on the in the middle and the clear in the front so you don't want to have all both of these in the back the blue and the gray and then oh you could do that i mean but i think it looks better if you kind of just um stretch out the different patterns in your basket so you guys let me know what you think about this basket it was easy to put together um Y'all pricing my baskets for me now, and I appreciate it so much. So please like, share, comment. Let me know what you think. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do. Um, I have a lot of things that I am coming down the pipeline in the month of April, and I'm definitely going to go over uh, pricing as well as give you all some tips because you all have asked me to give you some tips about um, selling your baskets on the streets. But I've got some other ideas, not just selling your baskets on the streets, you guys. There are other things that we can do um, leading up to street sales or even after street sales that you can sell your baskets, okay? So it's all up here, you guys. I'm just writing all these things down and I'm going to come to you guys in a presentation because I've gone through in meetings and stuff and nobody has an agenda or anything. It's just, they're just talking off the cuff of their head and 
sometimes to me, I'm just going to be honest. I was in a training last week and a person, they were just talking the cuff off of the top of their head. And some of the stuff wasn't related to the topic or anything. It was just, it was a hot mess. I wasted an hour and 45 minutes. Okay. And I don't want to waste you all's time. I want to give you guys the information and hopefully it will help enhance your business. Even if it doesn't enhance your business, it can enhance your personal life, okay? So I'm just giving nuggets to help you guys on things that has helped me. So thank you for liking, sharing, and commenting. Uh, till the next video, you guys totally be blessed. Bye-bye.